news, making community connections in Phoenix today. We're getting into the holiday spirit over at the Herberger Theater, where some of the Valley's best ballet students will be performing a brilliant new approach to the Nutcracker this weekend. The Herberger is located downtown near North 3rd Street and East Van Buren, and that is where 12 News journalist Rachel Cole is joining us live with a special sneak peek. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Tram, good afternoon. The party is about to begin here as we show you a little sneak peek of the holiday classic, The Nutcracker. I'm here with the director, Jennifer. How are things going? It's going really, really well. We're very excited to be open tomorrow. We have four performances this weekend. You guys have to get tickets to come see the, this holiday classic. What is so special about The Nutcracker each and every year? I think it's a wonderful tradition for all ages and all religions, and it's just for everyone. It's a great storyline. It's about magic. It's about dance. It's about love and battling, and there's just so much in one big story that it's so much fun. And the sets are absolutely magical. We've got even one of the Mies here. I know there's mice and Mies. How are you doing, Quinn? He's got, he's got his little mies face on and, and the cheese. Make sure you hang on tight to that. And of course, we're talking with Clara and one of the sugar plum fairies. Sophie, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, feeling good about the performances this weekend? Yes, I am. So tell me what you love so much about dance. I know you've been doing it a long time. I love the performances and the teachers are really nice too. I like, well, that's always good because I know, you know, stage moms who are, you know, back that way, they can be a little bit strict. But um, also, the Sugar Plum Fairy, you've been a, a ballerina for a very long time, Cecilia. What do you love about it? I love performing and I love seeing how dance can impact people of all different backgrounds. You were sharing with me that you guys just love, like you said, being on stage, being under the spotlight. What, what can crowds that come to see the show expect? <laughs> to be speechless, to be speechless. Speechless, yes, and just a lot of magic, a lot of dancing, a lot of kids from all different ages and backgrounds coming together and dancing. I sure. love it. Convergence Ballet, hard at work in line with Ballet Theater of Phoenix to make this a big production. I know I put you on the spot there. They have been hyper-focused on making sure these performances are absolutely flawless for each and every person who gets to come enjoy the show. So, Tram, we'll send it back to you. Okay, okay. The Nutcracker is one of my favorite traditions every year. Rachel, uh, I really want to go. Can people still get tickets to the show? You... You're going to have to triple check because there are four performances, so we don't want to shut down anybody who's still interested in coming to the Herberger this weekend. So just triple check to make sure there are still a couple tickets available. I know we did say earlier this week, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is also playing at the Herberger. So again, you just want to double check before uh, you make your weekend plans because obviously it's a hot commodity this weekend and only these two days. I know, I know I'm on it as soon as the show ends. Rachel, thank you so very much much. I'm looking. Well,